Hi, this is Cecilia from Tarot by Cecilia, and today is Monday, March the 6th, 2023. The tarot card for today is the Three of Pentacles, and this one's from a deck called the Decolonized Tarot, and you can follow Decolonized Tarot on both Facebook and Instagram. This was a successful Kickstarter, and I believe the decks will be shipping soon. This looks like a great Monday card to me. At first glance, one might say, well, it should go well with today's Virgo moon, which of course tomorrow is going to be the full moon at 16 degrees Virgo, also known as the full worm moon. And my full moon tarot guidance is available now on my website or by joining my YouTube and also on the Patreon app. We have two things going on today. As far as the moon is concerned, it's going to be making an opposition to Mercury, which of course that means Mercury is in Pisces. Uh, the big thing today is the sun being sextile to Uranus. And this aspect could really have you dealing with the Three of Pentacles in a different manner. So let's first talk about what the Three of Pentacles is normally like because it involves teamwork and strategizing and diagramming and making plans. But the sun is sextile Uranus. How does one stick with a plan? Very, very difficult to do. However, what Uranus is really good for sometimes, especially when you have the confidence which the sun exudes and imparts on everyone, is, you know, brilliant ideas. So maybe getting everybody together is a good thing to do, all right? Brainstorming sessions. It doesn't mean things have to be concrete today. It doesn't mean you have to go, you know, put up a presentation and say, this is what we're going to do. Because that's what the Virgo moon wants to do. But Sun Sextal Uranus wants you to just, like, let it all flow and let it all happen. See what everybody comes up with. One of the interesting things about the Three of Pentacles is it's often a card associated with apprenticeship. So when you have a group of people, everyone brings different experiences to the table, some more so than others. But everyone has something to contribute. And yesterday we had our boss man, right? Well, any good manager or boss knows to pinpoint what people are good at doing and to really, you know, utilize that to make it work for them. It doesn't by any means, you know, mean that you stereotype them and stick them in one spot and keep them there forever, but you allow them to put forth their best product. And today's card with today's aspects and leading up to tomorrow's full moon, which is a pretty nice full moon, um, you know, it's about being able to bring these people together from various backgrounds, whatever, whether it's a support group that you have or a team at work, whatever it is that's going on, and let everyone contribute and see what they have to say. Because under this type of influence, you just never know, you know, so get those ideas up on that, you know, uh, board. I can't can think of what they call the board, but you would think I would with all the crime dramas I watch. Anyway, but, you know, that's the thing. This is a day of planning in a different mode. It's not about saying this is the plan. It's about saying, what should we do? Yeah, let's get together. Let's talk about it. Let's brainstorm about it and come up with a strategy which will work. And I think you'll find there's some wonderful ideas out there waiting to happen. So be open to the possibilities. I want to thank you all very much for being here. I'll see you here again tomorrow. And as always, have a great day.